Alrighty, let's play this in full first. There's sound. I love you. I've loved you since I met you. Cool. Actually, listen to some of my headphones. I Could you? This is extremely picky and it's going to be probably too much work, so ignore <laughs> what I say. But I'm going to say it out loud anyway. Could you? I love you. Okay, so during all this time where they don't talk, I it sounds like there is a piece of audio that you repeated. And I, I can hear like clack clang, clack clang, clack clang, clack clang, clack clang. That being said, I would love for you to add this at the beginning. <laughs> because there's silence and it suddenly kicks in. This is so minor and just me and you should probably not do it. But, but just something for so it doesn't feel so copy pasted. But of course, if you add this section that you did copy paste at the beginning, it's going to just make it worse. But if there's any way you can smooth it out, I don't know, or some add some ambient noise. There's something that is really just me. This is so extremely subjective, but um, never mind. That being said, let me check it out here. So you have notes here. I made the shot slightly longer to add more breathing room. All right. Slow down actions and beats up until ending part. All right. Add a new hand pose when she places her hand on his. All right. Let's check this out. I love you. I love you. I love you. I think it's in sync. It's always this thing of, you know, whatever software you use to play something and it might always be a frame or two off, but in animation, a frame or two can actually make a big difference. Um, the only thing I would probably say that maybe this is, this to me feels too big and too much. This is more like, ah. I love you. For something where she just goes, I love you, where it feels like that's the max. This bit of unwieldy shape there with that, that curvature. I don't know if that's something you can tone down. Well, there's something that feels a bit too much. I love you. I've loved you since I met you. I know there's something where I apologize if that was before and I didn't bring it up. So every now and then I see something too late or it just suddenly feels different. Um, so I'm I'm 100% aware that sometimes I'm speaking an idiot there, but I love it just feels like the tone of the voice doesn't quite match this massive action. I love you. Where it feels like it would just be more direct with this, a direct f move forward. And again, I hate if, if, if you're thinking right now, why didn't you tell me this weeks before? I totally agree. It's just for some reason right now, this strikes me as I would make this more direct and less arky. But then you can add more here because now she she said it. She told him she does this. He pulls away. She's potentially more hurt than panicky. I've loved and now loved you since I met you. That tone of voice is stronger than I love you than here. I've loved you since I met you. And I think now you can have a little bit of anticipation then I've loved arc into this, which will work with the hand. That's my current opinion <laughs> that is horrible horrible if this is just going against everything we talked about before for some reason it's just and to be honest i need to look at your previous version is this a much bigger move than before especially facially maybe i'm reacting to that but again i apologize if this is something that was before and then now i'm slowly changing my mind it's horrible it's horrible i love you I the other thing i'd be careful about is that his hand drops and I'm kind of looking at this and I'm slightly distracted and I want to look here. It's also the hand drops. I know a bit later, but it kind of all falls together when she is done. He is done. So you watch this. I love it's just something together and it's just it's like when this, the shot starts, I'm kind of looking here because I see eyes and my, my eyes go to her eyes. Then this happens and I'm going over here and then it's such a slow and deliberate drop. That I can't, I'm kind of late to the party to watch this. I love you. And I wonder if that's too much. I do like the idea of him like this. And that already kind of makes that work even better. Like she's contemplating why he's so distraught. Yeah, I understand why. I mean... I love... What about this? How about a compromise? What if you start like this, like seven frames, we hold this, and then he puts his arm down, there's no pause, but he goes straight from this to down. And by the time the hand is around here, 
So almost maybe two frames before it hits the end. This starts. Right? So you would delay that a bit more. She can still look. And maybe you can have, you know, some darts and maybe a widening of eyes because she realizes, oh man, this is not going to work. And that's why she decides to do this. I hope that makes sense. Um, yeah. I mean, you did say, please be picky with notes, but there's picky and there's destructive. <laughs> so feel free to throw everything out that I just said. But these are my, just the current things that I feel about the shot. And apologize again if this goes against what we talked about before, what I said before. I love you. I love you. Also careful, there's something just generally about this goes down and this goes up. And I know this is later than this, but there's again a slight feel of I love you. Blip, almost at the same time. And there's something almost a bit too deliberate about lifting and then the fingers in and then that thumb in at the end. It's just something where it's it's like to me it seems like she will bring that arm back now it's almost like she wants to realign her balance and so she can put weight on that hand because she's she is putting the weight off of this arm if that makes sense it's almost like a weight shift instead of doing this at the end is she does this at the beginning for a rebalance and now that she's balanced and she can hold that weight on here she can move and lift this arm to to do this hope that makes sense you I love you. Let me just see. There's something about the lower lids. I'd be careful. Like this seems like that lower lid is like 50 or 60% dialed up. I will go not more than what you have already, to be honest. Like the lower lids, I would dial them. It's really minimal. I know you want to squeeze them in, but this seems like she was just beaten. And then, you know, you have a blue eye, a black eye, and she's swollen. I think you can be a bit more conservative in the lower lids. Or maybe, you know, between this and this, this seems almost 50%, but just visually, I know it's not, but something where maybe that is your max at this point. You just want to feel that because of the cheeks being up. It feels a bit much. Love you. You. I love you. And there's something where I would probably, once he does this and that, I would probably go with a bigger dart and a bit sooner, even with a little bit of relaxation on those eyebrows, because she's so heightened in her acting and in her emotions and, you know, everything is so extreme that I think even something like this here, where, where he is breaking eye contact and moving away from her would have a bigger impact on her, um, you know, mentally, emotionally. I think you can make that a bit less subtle. I see a little bit of a dart, but I think you can go a bit bigger. And even then, you would relax the mouth even a bit sooner. And then when she goes down here, it would be a down with a bit of an opening of her eyes. Because right now, it feels like she's already so invested that when he goes down and pulls her arm away, or his arm away, she has a look down. And then it's still also sad and closed. And then she has that reaction, but it's still all closed. Like to me, at this point, you would see the white above the pupils. I've loved you know, she'd be freaking out. And then this would be the freak out phase plus grabbing the hand. And then you can really do this. Like then it's appropriate to do that. But I feel like we can go a bit broader here on her emotional reaction, subjectively. Careful, just from a technical point of view, as you go back like this, like she has a bit of a a shift in her weight as she goes back a bit with the body. I think you can have a little bit of a rotation down, a flattening of that wrist and maybe a change in the elbow. It just seems like everything is moving, but this is fairly locked and still, which it is when you scrub. So watch out for stuff like that. I've and I think her arm move this way is almost too much of a telegraph anticipation for this, where I feel it, it's, it feels slightly disconnected from her emotional state, where to me, it feels like she would... The hand goes, I, I don't know. Again, this is, sorry if this is totally different, but like she is invested, hand on, hands on this, invested on him, with him. This happens, but for her to move that arm away so much, 
doesn't quite work with this. Because if I look at her face, it's kind of like... I felt something on my hand. What's going on down here? Oh, wait. He took his hand away. But the amount of arm back here fits more this moment. I don't know if that makes sense. Where it's like, this is a bigger moment of, oh, you took my hand away. So it feels like you would keep that hand. He takes that hand off. But her hand would still be here. And be kind of close and maybe drop. But it would still be very close to here. And then when she goes, oh, on this, then she pulls her hand back this way. And then you can go into this. I've loved you since I met you. Into that, right? I've loved you since I met you. I've loved you since I met you. And the rest works. I think that. I've loved you since I met you. I like all of that. The head moves, the body moves, how he reacts you to since this. I, met you. I think this is all cool. I've loved you since I met you. ever so slightly ik watch out it feels like it goes it goes down on pretty one straight axis here with a bit of a rotation which is cool but i think we can bring it either either way over and a bit of a twist just a bit more complexity to get that ik feel out because it, it, it gets a bit broken at this point just in the way this rotates up but stays aligned like within that line while there's more going on in the elbow it's a bit of a technical thing even though here at the end it gets a bit better but through all of this here, I know this is extremely picky, but because you're doing it, you're going to have to have some compression and changes in the fingers. Every time she she does changes there where it's just odd to have, it feels a bit light there. You want to start um, compress, uh, start compressing those fingers a bit more there. And I would probably lift that head a bit more. It seems almost like a, just a temporary tangent there, but like, are we connecting there? Is she putting that on the finger? Um, yeah, I'll, I'll keep this. Maybe there's always this much negative space, probably. I love you. I've loved you since I met you. Now, that being said, since you are animating this guy, dare I, dare I say, just for a test, would you be able to do this? Because I wasn't quite sure how far you want to go with that far right character, with the right character. So if we move this much over, right? So we can see a bit more of him. Because it's always it was always a bit unbalanced, leaning more screen right. And I think that way towards the end, it could still work where this feels a bit more encroaching. But we see a bit more. Because right now, it was always a bit heavy on that side. And especially towards the end, where I feel like maybe you want to either pan over or from the beginning be further panned, like I said, this way. I'm just curious. Maybe you have to animate a bit more of the, the shoulder there, but I'm just wondering, I, want to, I just want to throw that out there. Is that something you can do? Does that break too much? You need to animate more stuff on him on the right side, but it would just help with the balance. But I'll leave it at that. It feels like this is a very destructive critique. <laughs> so let me know. Email me. Let me know what you think about all of that. All right. Thank you. All right. There's an email. You can sign up. You can start whenever you want. You can submit whenever you want. You get 16 submissions. Either way, a like and subscribe would be awesome. All right. Thank you.